your rights. They're different experiences. They're different kinds of people. Our world. This weekend on the BBC News Channel and iPlayer. This is BBC News, I'm Rita Chakrabarti. Our top stories. The head of the UN's nuclear watchdog calls for immediate action to prevent a disaster at the Russian-occupied Zaporizhia nuclear power plant in southern Ukraine. We are rolling a dice here, and there will be a day when our luck will run out. The UK government formally delays the construction of sections of the HS2 rail line in a bid to cut costs. The Georgian government drops a controversial draft law which critics say would limit press freedom and civil liberties. It follows a night of violent protests in the country's capital. Tens of thousands of people take part in demonstrations across Israel against proposed reforms to the judicial system. And BBC presenter Gary Lineker says he stands by his comments attacking the UK government's latest immigration policy. Hello. The head of the UN's nuclear watchdog has demanded immediate action to prevent a disaster at the Russian-occupied Zaporizhia nuclear power plant in southern Ukraine. The remarks come after at least nine people were killed in sustained Russian missile attack. Rafael Grossi says the renewed shelling cut the plant's only remaining power line, which provides electricity for essential cooling of radio radioactive material. Power has since been restored. Here he is speaking to my colleague Gita Guru Murthy a little earlier. Uh, over